my name is Micah Vollmer, and I first heard about Light Lounge uh, through my father. He was having a lot of health issues, especially pain in his um, back and shoulders, and had tried surgeries and shots and uh, physical therapy, all sorts of treatments, and nothing was helping. And it was affecting his daily life. And he went into Light Lounge and tried out a membership, and after a few months, um, said that he had never felt better and he was golfing again and working out again and just happier in general. So introduced it to us. And I was a little bit skeptical at first, but after my first video with David, um, his energy was just so um, infecting and I just really started to believe that this could be a really great thing for the world and for the people around me and my loved ones and just really was interested in getting to know more. So, and here we are. So kind of what I said before, um, just the fact that uh, it made my dad a believer. Um, my dad is a very straight edged, um, black and white, there's really no gray area type of, type of guy and he doesn't really believe in anything. Um, and so for him to be so passionate about something and excited about something, um, I felt like I at least deserved uh, for me to look into it. And I'm really glad I did. Why is the two by two system so effective? Um, so I think the biggest reason why it's effective is because you're actually out there trying. And so I'm a firm believer in that even if you get told no one or two times to keep trying, even up to 10 times um, for, for something to become effective. And, you know, just working the festival with Ali this last weekend just really showed me that um, getting in front of people, most people already have heard of red light therapy. They just kind of have never heard of light lounge. So just connecting those two and um, getting them signed up for their free session. Um, it, it's it's really, once you relate to them on a personal level, it's it's really easy to do the two by two by two. And why is it so important for franchises to implement their daily KPIs? Um, I am a goal setter. I am a type A organized person. And so I feel like KPIs are so important because it just keeps you on track. Um, it keeps you accountable for how you're doing and where you're at with your goals and your business and seeing what you can improve on, you know, where you're lacking, where your strengths are, where your weaknesses are, seeing if you can bring in other people to help you with your weaknesses. So overall, I think it's just a great tracking system um, for yourself and for your business. Why is it so important to focus on taking massive action and implementing the little things? So um, I, love Darren Daly and I've read his book The Compound Effect and I've actually read it twice and I will probably read it again um, sometime soon because it is a powerful book that just really reiterates the fact that doing small things each and every day eventually is going to turn and snowball into something bigger and it's just really goes along the lines of you know a lot of people wait until something is perfect before they implement it I am very guilty of this. Um, I want to make sure something is perfect and I don't want to have to redo things. But over time um, with my real estate business, I have learned that even just starting small things or just changing a habit, if you want to change a habit, start small, do you know, little things each and every day. And then over time, you know, you'll eventually change your habit or create a new habit or, you know, learn something new or anything along those lines. I think it just really applies to a lot of areas in life. Why is it so important to go over any sales phobia in 15 seconds or less? So another book that I really like is um, the five second rule, I think it's called. And it's where you, um, you know, you lay out your most important tasks of the day, or even if you come across a task of the day that you don't want to do, um, you say five, four, three, two, one, and then you just do it. And honestly, I have used this so many times in my real estate career um, because there are just those people that you don't want to call back or there's those angry clients or angry agents. And I think that goes along with a sales phobia, right? You kind of get into your head and 
you have this fear of rejection or you have fear of somebody hanging up the phone on you or telling you no. Um, but I think if you um, just take that initiative and say, okay, five, four, three, two, one, or in this case, 15 seconds or less, I think that's what the question's asking. Um, then the more you do it, the easier it gets. And once you get done with it and you can cross that thing off your list, you feel so accomplished and it just really energizes you to get the rest of your things done in the day. So I really love um, applying that, that skill to my business. And why is it important to focus on list building? So like any business, um, list building is something that is kind of like the foundation, right? So I remember I, I've been in um, many, many sales positions in my lifetime and I've dated people who have been in sales positions and it doesn't matter what industry it is. That is the first thing that they teach you, like make a list, um, okay, now divide that list. Who are the 10 people that you know will probably say yes to you? Who are the 10 people that might be a maybe? And, um, you know, do, focusing on who to call first and who to call second. But these lists are just so important because people aren't going to come to you. You have to go to them. Um, some people will seek you out, but more often than not, in order to build your business and to build your brand and to build those relationships, you have to be the one to reach out to them. You have to be the one that nurtures that relationship and makes that ask. What types of products and services does Light Lounge offer? So we offer the Whole Body Pod, um, which is a service, and there's many different protocols, at least 50 that I know of. Um, then we also have our handheld sessions, um, which are more for like one area of focus and it's a little bit more intense. You will feel those effects immediately. And then I haven't seen it used yet, but I have seen the um, helmet that is for people with brain injuries. And then I've seen that little wand thing that is like the disinfectant thing. I haven't seen that in use either. Um, what other things? do we offer? We have that water, the echo water, which is hydrogenized water. Um, I haven't tried it enough to, to feel any effects, but every time I'm in Denver, I do fill up my water bottle and, um, you know, I've read a lot of things about it and heard a lot of things about it just by being a health conscious person and, um, following different people on, um, social media. Um, we have those, those, those ring things, um, like the, the frequency, the 5G, things that are supposed to protect you from those electromagnetic waves, I think is the right terminology. I'm not really sure about the terminology, but, you know, um, just riding around with David and his little mini coop. And he had one of those things in his car and I, it never really dawned on me that by driving an electric vehicle, you are um, suscepting yourself to all of those dangerous electromagnetic fields and and waves and, and things that they say, you know, don't put your phone too close to your ear because it, you know, the transmissions that it gives off and all these other things like, it's just amazing to me to think that people are now driving around cars that are electric and thinking that somehow they're saving the environment, but really they're just killing themselves. Oh, personal opinion. And what do we got? We have, how would you describe your experience in working with Light Lounge? So my experience so far has been interesting. So I started off, as you have heard, as a... Um, not as a client, but as a franchisee. So our family bought a location and is opening up in Cherry Creek. And I've also been kind of a member. Every time I go to Denver, I end up um, doing a few sessions and I've really felt like it's helped me with my workouts and my recovery. That's where I felt it the most in the short amount of time that I've done it. Um, and then now I am trying to move into the corporate side. Um, and not only do I feel like I want to move into the corporate side, but I also became an, an investor as well. And I just really, truly believe in, in David. And I really, truly believe in this business. And I can see that this business is starting to grow. And I can see David is starting to drown. And I just, I feel like I have... Um, 
what it takes to help them build this business and, and bring it to that next level. I'm looking to um, transition into that position very, very soon, as soon as he will have me. I am ready and anxious and willing and just can't wait to learn from the best of the best. I feel so honored and um, happy and thankful and gracious that I have him as a mentor. I don't really have a mentor in my life right now, and I haven't had one in many, many years. I've never had parents as mentors. They've always been, they've always looked up to me um, to kind of be the adult in the relationship. And so um, there's just so many things about David and I's really business relationship that I just really appreciate and look forward to um, having more of in my life because I do wanna take my life to that next level and I wanna help other people. And you know, although real estate has been really fulfilling to me the last 10 years, it's been really good to me. I just feel like I've, I'm have i outgrowing it and there's just something out there for me that's different and and bigger and more exciting and I'm hoping and praying and wishing and pretty sure light lounge is is that end game for me and would you be would you recommend becoming a franchisee of light lounge and if so why and of course my answer to that would be yes um, I do feel like that um, David has done a a great job of getting things set up so far for these franchisees you know there's always hiccups in the road and there's things that we are that he is learning along the way as to be expected and i think if we really get some good systems in place um so that um you know we're still going to have to handhold because that people need their hands to be held in every aspect of life these days but I think if we could make it a little bit more automated so that, you know, when we have that person in, in Florida or Texas or California or in a state that is not um, Colorado who wants to be a franchisee, um, you know, of course, we're going to be there to help them, but also have sort of a guide um, that even though they won't read it because people don't read, um, just something that if we get asked a question, it's already in the guidebook and, um, or it's, you know, they're getting emails of, okay, now that you've completed this, here are your next steps. Okay. Now that you've completed this, here are your next steps. So sounds like you're going to help us with that. And I'm really excited to see what you can uh, bring to the table and excited to meet you.